What's up? Benjamin D'Souza here. I know it's been a minute, <clears throat> but I wanted to speak on something. Um, I, th I think I've spoken on this before in past videos when I refer to something that I like to call the coming to America complex. It's when um, African immigrants in particular come over here with a uh, royalty type of complex about them and they already they they come over here with a preconceived notion that we are somehow insecure with ourselves and this complex basically comes from them preying on that preconceived notion that we do have some sort of insecurities about us and about our history and ethnicities and whatnot and 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 it's insulting, but um, you know, over the years I've noticed that it's been, it's it's becoming more blatant and more brazen, you know. But uh, I got into this exchange in this Facebook group <clears throat> of mine that I'm a part of with uh, a couple of African females in particular, and the basic premise of the. Uh, the Facebook post that I hopped on, the comment thread was, I guess she's this wannabe Afro-Latino chick from Puerto Rico or some shit, or Cuba or something. She's, she's, she claims that she's Afro-Latino or whatever. And she, and she makes the, the post talking about, so you uh, African-American men think that foreign women are swooning over you. Ha, 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 LOL, or whatever, you know. You know, I, I said what I had to say about that in the comment thread, but that's not really what I'm talking about right now. This one particular brother makes this post talking about, hold on, let me pull this up. Ah, here we go. He says, <clears throat> most of the chicks from other countries that talk that shit like this chick wants a white man so bad they wake up in a cold sweat. No, that ain't it. That's not the... Hold on. <clears throat> here it is. They get double mad when they get to the U.S. and find out that they are just another nigger like the ones white people promised they would be treated like when they get here. Then a couple more brothers replied to that comment with right 100 emojis and hashtag facts. But then this African chick chimes in and she writes something in, I guess, her native language or whatever. So I copy paste, go to Google Translate and translate what she said. And what she said was, so say the knots. So she's basically, you know, referring to us as quote unquote, African-American men as knots, like whatever you, you know, whatever pejorative term, whatever a kata, that's what you say, you mooly or you know, whatever, oh, okay, whatever, nig nog. You know, there's something along those lines. Now, <clears throat> before I go any further, let me pre uh, let me please preference that, you know, this is not a knock on African chicks or African people <clears throat> or foreign people. Because like I've stated in previous videos, my father's from the Caribbean. Now... I'm born and raised in, mid <clears throat> excuse me, in middle America. My mother is from a small town in the South. So, you know, I guess you can say my father's from South America. My mother's from North America. I guess you can say I'm all American. But anyway, so, she, you know, let me get back to what I was saying. So <clears throat> she makes this comment, this uh, condescending backhanded diss comment her native language 
So, you know, like I said, I Google translated it. <clears throat> then I reply to her, uh, say the knots. So we're knots now. See, brothers, they throw you under the bus to show white people how much they're down. Then when white people put boots up their ass, they want to come running to us for help. Now, obviously, from her comment, she was offended by the brothers pointing out that when they get over here, they're going to essentially get what the comedian Paul Mooney calls their nigga wake up call. A lot of foreigners, Africans especially, come over here and they want to distinguish themselves and separate themselves from us, which I have no problem with, but, you know, some of the ways they go about it is offensive, to say the least. But uh, when they are reminded that they are not accepted into white society, not even as honorary white people, then they want to, you know, shout that black unity type of shit. <clears throat> and, you know, this, her comment that she made in a, you know, in her native language, like I said, this is just a case in what I like to call, you know, other nationalities of uh, Negroes treat us as American Negroes like an abusive boyfriend would, you know. They kick our ass, shit on us, talk shit about us. But then when we leave, then they want to break their necks to make us stay. So, you know, by this point in the comment thread, I'm kind of vexed. So, I, you know, I tag one of the brothers who made that comment. And I said, that bitch thinks she's slick. Trying to diss us in a foreign language like there ain't no such thing as Google Translate. Fucking dummy. LOL, you know, he laughs at it or whatever. So then I tag her after I check out her profile. <clears throat> Come to find out she's South African. Once again, I have no problem with South Africans. But uh, this chick in particular, I do have a problem with. So I tag her in a comment and I say, You are from South Africa, home of the mighty Zulus. You think whites in America view you any differently than the whites back in your homeland? Didn't we speak up against apartheid? Weren't it our ancestors who fought and died so that your people can come over here? You ungrateful motherfucker. And that's my whole point, man. That's my whole point. I don't have a problem with Africans per se. You know, I've had, you know, I've dated a couple, befriended a couple, went to high school and college with a couple, you know. But I've also had a couple of run-ins with a couple of them, just like I've had with every other group of people in this country. But my main thing is, listen, when you come in our house, wipe your feet before you come in, you know. Put some respect on our name. Don't come over here with this inflated ego and this preconceived notion that all, quote-unquote, Negro Americans are insecure about themselves and who they are to some degree. And you're going to use that preconceived notion of our insecurity as an advantage to exploit us. Because I've noticed in my day-to-day -day life, over the years, you know, school and social events and work and whatnot, that not all skin folk are your kin folk. And Africans in particular, uh, us as Negro Americans, we need to be very vigilant of them and we need to know what their motives are because they'll use the skin folk concept to try to get a foothold in and use us as a stepping stool to further their agenda, whatever that agenda may be. You know, they'll say, well, 
I'm African and you are African American, so you are my brother. Yeah, they'll call you brother, all right. All the while, they're just waiting for you to turn your back so they can stab you in it. This is not all, but, you know, this is an issue of concern. Excuse me, that needs to be addressed as far as uh, my people are concerned. <clears throat> so now I call her out. Back to the common thread. So now I call her out on her delusional, her delusions of white acceptance. You know, because obviously from her backhanded diss earlier, that she believes that white people here in America accept her, you know, as one of their own. So she replies, I hate whites. <clears throat> I reply to that. Yeah, whatever. When we point out that white people don't like you like that, you hop on here and try to diss us. Then I copy and post the, uh, in quotation marks, the, the statement that she made in her native language. Then she replies to that. This is when the shame of language come in. This is a woman, by the way, that I'm talking to. She says, you white motherfucker. <laughs> that's, that's just my African accent. It's my generic African accent. I don't know if people south of South Africa talk like that. But anyway, then I post a picture of myself. LOL, yeah, I'm white. <clears throat> then I post a tagger in it. So you call... Hold on. So tell me, what other disrespectful term like akata or knots do you Africans have for us Negro Americans? Then the brother whom started this comment thread chimes in and he tags me in the comment and he says hell yeah lol she ain't shit afro centrator <laughs> so then i reply to him and tag him i say right the bitch tried to diss us in another language like we can't google translate that shit then i tag her <clears throat> see what i don't like about these musty now at this point you know her being disrespectful. I guess I was kind of disrespectful earlier, but you know, I don't know. At this point, the gloves came off. So I tagged her in the same comment and I said, see what I don't like about these musty titty, fishy booty ass Africans is they treat us like a redheaded stepchild. But when they're in trouble, it's please come help us my brothers and sisters. But when they're good and they got a leg up, it's fuck you Akata. <laughs> now the way I see it is this is indicative of what uh, Kid Organic calls foreign supremacy and I'm like you know I don't have a problem with foreigners coming over here lawfully paying taxes and being productive citizens <clears throat> Of my country. I have no problem with that whatsoever. But it's like, come on now. You got to be more respectful than that. You, you you wouldn't tolerate me coming to uh, Johannesburg just off of the strength that I'm an African-American and expect you and your people to bow down and kiss the ring. You know what I mean? So it's like... All the while, while I'm shitting on y'all at the same time, like, y'all wouldn't take that from us, so shit, we're not going to take that from y'all. Now, other groups of foreigners in this country engage in this type of behavior as it, you know, as it pertains to, quote unquote, African Americans, they all have this air of superiority or this there's this false air of superiority and they you know try to get over on us and exploit us in some manner of in some manner uh, or another but i think it's important that us as american negroes point out the fact that this is also prevalent amongst africans because in my opinion when they engage in this type of behavior, 
it's the most dangerous for the simple fact that they look like us or similar to us. They're our skin folk, I guess you can say. So it, it'll be easier for, you know, Undala, who's black as night, nose as wide as a barnyard door, and whose hair is nappier than steel wool to slither his way in to put a knife in our back than it would be for some Blanco Latino named Javier. Now, on another comment thread on this same status, oh, hold on. And this comment was made by the same brother who made the uh, previous comment. He said, uh, why do Negroes from outside of America think they're special or different? <clears throat> this one chick, I guess she's, she's from Africa. I forgot what country because during the course of the comments, I tagged her in one <laughs> and she ended up blocking me. But she said something to the effect of, uh, it's because you guys put foreign women on a pedestal. <clears throat> then the same chick from the previous comment chimes in and she says, hell yes, such and such. It's not our fault that they have self-esteem issues. Now you see from her initial comment from the previous comment when she uh, gave us a little backhanded this but nobody invited her in the room to begin with you know she wanna think she's slick and say something in her native language to diss us or whatever as you can see right here she says it's not our fault they have self-esteem issues now like i said earlier just like a <clears throat> predatorial spouse of some sort who uh preys on the low self-esteem or the perceived low self-esteem of their boyfriend or girlfriend, she automatically assumes that we have low self-esteem as a people and that she can just barge in and, you know, give us our little backhanded disses and give us her little backhanded disses and whatnot. It's kind of like if a guy is dating a chick and he thinks she has low self-esteem, so he kind of wants to put his boot on her neck. So she gets dressed to go out on a date with him, and he says something to the effect of, you sure you want to wear that? She's like, why? Well, it kind of makes you look fat. Even though it doesn't, but he fig he knows that she has low self-esteem, so uh, he kind of wants to peg, you know, drill that home. You know what I mean? It's kind of like she has low self-esteem, but you don't want her to leave. So you want her to think that nobody else will accept you. Nobody else will take you in other than me. So you stuck with me, basically, something to that effect. So I see her in this comment thread, and I hop in, and I say, uh, and I reply to her comment, and I say, these foreign bras are nothing special. Half of them act like they're royalty back home, even though they grew up <clears throat> in some dusty village or shack town slum. <laughs> now, this really set her off. Even though I didn't tag her, I'm just talking about some of these foreign women, some of these foreign people in general. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this really hit a nerve. And as you know, as we say in America, a hit dog will holler. So she replies to that with fuck off. And she has she's mixing in words from her native language in here. So I'm just going to read the her English words or whatever. She says, fuck off. Well, we're exactly from the dusty streets of Tusakasi. And guess what? We made it. 
Our country may be a shithole, but it's ours. What about you? America belongs to the Native Americans. And now, for Kof Moose, I, I don't know what that is. Now, once again, like I said, it's, it's tantamount to uh, an abusive spouse who wants to treat you like shit, but doesn't want you to leave because, like I've said in previous videos, many Africans, they will vehemently tell you, you are not African. You are not African. And when you turn around and say, yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm not African. But wait, but wait. You technically are African because uh, humanity started in Africa and you are closer to our phenotype. So by default, you are also African. But wait a minute. You just said a minute ago that I wasn't African. So when she says... Our country may be a shithole, but it's ours. What about you? America belongs to Native Americans. She's essentially saying, nigga, you African, like it or not. Even though if you go back to Africa, you will not be accepted as, even if you go back to Africa or, you know, any African country in Africa, you would not be accepted as an African, but you're not American either. <laughs> It's kind of like, like I said, like I said, an abusive spouse that is say, bitch, you ain't shit or nigga, you ain't shit. So nobody else is going to take you. You know what I mean? So I reply to that. And y'all know what I said. I said, we are the Aboriginal Americans, you dummy. We didn't come from Africa. We were already here. Then she posts some laughing, crying face emoji. Then she posts... Fuck you, you are white. <laughs> you know, then I post a picture of, uh, from the uh, Facebook group, 1824 Definition of American. I advise you brothers to go check that out. And then I post a picture of me and a friend of mine playing basketball, and I say, and I caption it, yeah, I'm white. I mean, yeah, in the picture that I posted, I'm, I'm a reddish brown skinned brother playing basketball. Come on now. It doesn't doesn't get blacker than that. <laughs> and you know, I do have a soft spot in my heart for uh, my Caribbean brothers and sisters seeing that half of my ancestry is Caribbean. But as my last video states, you know, when they get out of line, I will call their ass to the carpet, too. Call their ass to the floor, too. But um, <clears throat> I just wanted to make this video to basically for one brothers to uh, keep their eyes peeled, man. Keep their eyes peeled when it comes to these Africans. Now, brothers, when you come in contact with our American brothers and sisters who are completely Afrocentric out, you know, onk wearing, red, black, and green wearing, you know, dashiki wearing, just you know, approach with caution, you know, at your own discretion. If you want to try to bring them home or whatever go ahead but you know I'd, I'd advise you not even to try you know this whole afrocentric shit is popular now so shit 10 years ago you couldn't find somebody with a unk or a dashiki now it's cool to wear dashikis and take selfies for instagram with them on and shit but um yeah, be mindful, man. Watch these Africans, man, with this, with this, uh, this coming to America complex shit that they on, man. For real, it's not all Africans, but you know, like Kid Organic said, there is a, uh, there's a such thing as foreign supremacy, and 
even though Africans may be, in some cases, our skin folk, some of them do practice foreign supremacy. I mean, there is a such thing in Africa as tribalism, right? <clears throat> Where you have Africans of the same country on the same continent, but they are of different tribes, probably living in, you know, the same city, engaging in tribalism and discrimination and backhanded practices to get over on other tribes. So if, if they practice that shit in their own countries, on their own continent, nigga, you don't even have a continental connection with them or a country or a national connection with them. So, of course, they're going to practice tribalism on you. So, you know, be mindful. And like I said, just keep your eyes peeled about that, about them trying to teach you like, trying to treat you like a, an abusive boyfriend. You know, they really don't want you, but they don't want nobody else to have you. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think.